What's going on? 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 With the guys would definitely be a uh, good thing for me and also for the team uh, in hopes of competing for championships. So, how did you see your role change as the season progressed? Uh, you know, like the production obviously ramped up down the yeah. stretch and, and just kind of your usage and all that. Yeah, um, I got more comfortable as the season went on, um, just with the plays and different schemes and things like that. And the coaches began to have more confidence in me and uh, knowing what I was doing. And I think my role picked up. Do you feel like that comfort level allowed you to showcase more some of your versatility? Yeah, definitely. Uh, just allowed me to be more free, uh, less thinking in the positions that they were putting me in, and uh, I think I was able to capitalize on some opportunities. Have you and Jacoby been able to play together this spring? And just how much, because obviously towards the end of last year, he was mm -hmm. out and mm -hmm. you were in. Like, how, how can you guys, with your speed and versatility, change the defense? Sometimes? Yeah. Um, we've, been working, we've all been working together this whole spring. Uh, Cal, me, um, Kobe, everybody's working together at different positions. So, I mean, uh, we just building that chemistry with everyone, and um, I think this is going to be a real good thing for us. Coming out of last year, what did you really want to work on, whether it was physically or yeah. you know, between the years or anything like that? But what did you want to work on to put yourself in a better position this year? Yeah, just my mental, uh, knowing what I'm doing, being more confident in myself, believing in my coaches, not necessarily second guessing anything that they have for me, just doing what they tell me and just going with the flow. What about physically then in the weight room, anything like that yeah. this winter that you really want to do? Uh, I mean, I want to uh, trim down a few pounds, but that's just a personal goal. I don't necessarily have to, but I think I want to get a little more toned up just for my own self, just more conditioning-wise, just be able to last longer and be able to be useful in any situation I'm needed in. What gives you confidence the defense will be better this, this year? Um, just the energy. Um, you, can, you can feel the guys want to work together. Uh, everybody piggybacks off each other, uh, young guys, older guys. The energy is just impeccable. How much does the infusion of guys not only through, through the portal, new freshman, how much does that kind of help that to kind of bring that, that yeah. energy to the room? Yeah, different backgrounds. You learn new things from different guys that's come from all over the place. And uh, I think it's going to be a really big big thing for us this upcoming season. How much more productive would you say spring is this year for, for all of you guys, especially mm -hmm. your position when you can actually run, you know, a couple lines in there. The yeah. offense can get you guys some, some decent looks mm -hmm. with, with a healthy alignment, mm -hmm. inside run stuff, whatever. Yeah. Are you guys seeing it's more productive? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, seeing different schemes and stuff that the offense have, they're actually able to run more things, um, knowing that we can give them good looks so we're not. So uh, it's been really good this spring. Against the offensive guys as well, how did the defense adapt to that last spring when, you did, when they didn't have the offensive line? Um, I mean, we were still, the offense was limited, but I mean, we were still able to get great work. Uh, the coaches did a great job of putting us in good positions, rather it was walking through things that we may not be able to see in practice or the offense giving us looks that we maybe need to see and things like that. So, How much more 11 on 11 do you think you guys have done this spring versus last year? Um, a good bit. Uh, guys are in and out, so many rotational guys. Um, everybody's getting great work, so it's definitely been better. What do you think the linebacker room overall? I mean, you're back for last year, yeah. Jacoby's back for last year, Cal's mm -hmm. a two-year starter, you yeah. know, been, you know yeah. just kind of the depth you guys have definitely. in the experience. No, I agree. Uh, We've all been, we've had great chemistry. We actually hang together on and off the field. So, I mean, we've got great chemistry. Um, we also got young guys that's coming at really stepping up immediately. And um, I think we're going to be a really good core for the whole team. With Cal coming, uh, he's got a practice, or I'm sorry, a class conflict. Do you guys yeah. try to catch oh, him yeah. up to speed really quickly when he gets in there? Yeah, I mean, he's he's a very smart dude. So he's usually pretty caught up to speed. He don't, if you leave it up to him, he wouldn't even stretch or nothing. He'd just come <laughs> straight from the class and get straight to work. But, uh, Coach makes him stay after practice and do Indian stuff too, the stuff that he missed. So he's definitely up to par. One of the things that Scotty was talking about was you guys kind of taking Jordan under your wing. Mm -hmm. I guess. What yeah. have you seen from him in, in terms of, of talent? How yeah. have you guys tried to mentor him? You can tell he's come from a good background, great family, great school at NIMG and things like that. Because he, he almost knows the defense already. I, as a freshman, I didn't know the defense where I was at previously. I, didn't, I could not learn the defense <laughs> as fast as he can. And uh, he's very vocal. Even if he's loud and wrong, he's doing what he's got to do and uh, getting everybody in position. So I think he'll be really good for us. Think he can help you guys right away in certain aspects? Absolutely. If he needed to be in, step up into any role right now, he can. What did you take away from the second scrimmage last week in scrimmage? Um, guys are just ready to work, man. Uh, ones, twos, threes, guys that need to step in are immediately ready to step in. Uh, and we always got this saying that um, if you're a three and you end up playing with the ones, you're a starter immediately. So I mean, 
you just got to be ready to go at any time. Yeah, the will and Sam positions. Yep. I know you're not in the room with them, but you have to tackle them. Uh -huh. You talked about the running backs, especially uh -huh. the new guys. And, yeah. Um, yeah, no, they look pretty explosive. Uh, Nate and Jaron and all of those guys that came in, they're hard runners, real hard runners. So, I mean, uh, they've definitely given us some really good looks. How are they different? Um, I mean, Nate's just a slasher, slasher guy. And uh, Jaron, he's a slasher. He's, he's a bigger back, but he, he's powerful also. So, I mean, he, he also can finesse a little bit. So, I mean, it gives us that, that balance. Just every little detail. He literally harps detail. Our point of emphasis every day, especially as far as uh, defense, is just focusing on the details, less missed assignments, being clean. Because we know we got the talent. We just want to be the guys that just be very consistent in what we do. And if we consistent, we can be. We can take it as far as we want. I know you weren't here when Antoine Simmons was here, mm -hmm. but what's it yeah. like getting to know him? What's he bring to you guys? Around yeah. <laughs> when I first seen him, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> and if you just see him on the street, you would not know that he was this this good linebacker here. So I mean, uh, it's definitely great having him in the room and. Uh, He's, he's, he gives great pointers. Has he got you up to speed about what he was about as a player? And oh, yeah. No, that? definitely. I mean, we were watching film on him last year. Oh, okay. So we was like, man, who is this? He was on every play. So we were like, dang. And then so happened one day he just ended up in our room. And I was like, all right, this is a guy. But I didn't know it was him. So I was like, oh, wait, that's him on film. It's the glasses. Yeah. No, it's the glasses for sure. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. You guys go yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Thank you all. Appreciate it. Yep.